After an amazing day in Mahon, we embarked for what is reputed to be one of the best sailaways in the Med. This is the inlet through which we are about to sail. The reputation of the sailaway and the exhilaration of the day filling us with expectancy. Menorca proved to be an enchanting place. Great people, first-class restaurants and cafes, fascinating history, and culture sitting on the front row of it all. Add to those qualities the fact that it's spotlessly clean, orderly, and has what must be the best weather, and I rest my case for this being a must-see place. That's ship talk for goodbye and thanks for the fun. Clearly echoed by the grateful shore. I love the way some wag on the shore was blowing his car horn in reply. I want to buy an apartment here and moor my boat outside, then sit on the balcony and watch the world go by. That looks like a nice patio on the top floor there. For your information, after we've sailed away, we go back down to the cabin, take a shower and dress for dinner. Casual, of course. But I'll let you enjoy the views for a moment. For the visitors who are not on a cruise ship, the yellow catamaran is an excellent way to see the harbour and the cruise ships close up. Even sailing out of the harbour, there are many places to see. Coming up, the Isla del Rey, also known as Bloody Island, which houses the old British military hospital that's now being restored. There are also the remains of an early Christian basilica here. The British used this hospital until 1960. This is the main hospital building. 
It housed 40 wards for patients and one can see it for 10 euros by taking the yellow catamaran that we saw earlier. It had just been here. The remains of the basilica are on the right. After about 15 minutes, we reached the open sea. I think I fancy an Airbnb here, a villa with a pool, sea view, and motorboat. I heard they're reasonably priced. One can but dream. As we near the open sea, there are many defensive forts. In the distance, the Fortaleza Isabel III. In the foreground, the Lazaretto de Mahon was built as an isolation hospital for ships arriving in Spain in the 19th century. This was an important location in times past. The buildings still majestic. The structure protected by two parallel walls. Normally on a cruise ship, we are far from the land, but occasionally, as in places like Venice and Kotor, we get to sail in close proximity to the land. Always a pleasure as we look down from about 10 stories and get a different perspective. The Tower of San Felipe, right at the mouth of the harbor, past which the ships would have to sail, a great defensive location. On the opposite bank, beautiful villas enjoy the view. Now there's an unusual sight. A man is giving his horse a bath in the sea. A quick turn to port as we leave the harbour. We will head northeast to Toulon in France. Meanwhile, on the ship, the fun goes on. That was the most picturesque sail away. Next time, Toulon on the Côte d'Azur, the Blue Coast, the French Riviera. Take a toy train to the beach. And what a beach. A great place with the usual great weather, a place to swim, a place to sunbathe, a place to play, maybe just take a walk, or simply enjoy the sights. Coming soon to a device near you,
Don't miss it.